Hey folks, Ben the Looney here again. Hope y'all had a happy and safe New Year's as well as a Merry Christmas. Well, there's some things from 27... Uh, God dang it. Uh, screw up on the first thing, whatever. Okay, there's some things from like 2018 I still wanted to talk about that I, other than the cartoons. So, I think I'd talk about some of the things that happened to me in 2018 that didn't involve animation. Well, I think first and foremost, um, I made it on the Pizza Party podcast, and yeah, that was a really, really good time. Um, the guys were cool, and it was fun meeting uh, Nolan, Izzy, and Pan, and yeah, it's like I really had a lot of fun. Um, yeah, the I did get a little defensive in the comments section afterwards, but you know, I just wasn't used to that kind of thing. <laughs> I tend to get like that sometimes, but overall it was a really fun experience, and it's like, I hope y'all enjoyed me and Pan finally collaborate with each other, and yeah, it's like, since then, Izzy and I are quickly becoming good friends, and it's like, she's really, she's such a sweetheart, and I enjoy talking with her, and I enjoy looking at her stuff and everything, so yeah, and shortly afterwards I managed to get on the, it's like, I reached out to Cotherex and I asked him if I could be on his podcast and yeah I had even more fun on that. <clears throat> Cotherex is probably like one of the chillest dudes I've I met. It's like he was pretty much willing to talk about whatever topic I brought up and yeah it's like I had a really it's like I learned a lot and it's like I had a good time on that one as well and I really enjoyed doing it so so yeah, I wouldn't mind doing more podcasts in the future. It's like, especially if um, Pizza Party or Koth ever want to invite me back to do another one, I'd I'd and I'd go ahead and agree to it instantly because I really enjoy working with them. So yeah, folks, let's see what happens in the future. I mean, if you happen to have a podcast yourself and you'd like to have me on, then don't be shy. Give ask me, and I might um I might pop up on it. And then uh, another great thing about this year is like I made some more uh, artist friends, especially some people who I became friends with people who I looked up to. It's like, um, I remember a uh, Herney, and uh, it's like, you might know him as Kinda Herney Art. He he reached out to me, and um, yeah, we quickly we quickly became friends, and he he's a pretty cool guy as well. It's like. And then I was kind of shell shot. I mean, <laughs> I really enjoyed his art and I looked up to it. So it was really fun that he noticed who I was and came and uh, we became friends now. So we talk from time to time now. We talk fairly occasionally. So I'd like to call him a new friend of mine. And another um, artist I got close to was um, one who I never um, talked about for Artist Spotlight was a. Uh, not safe for Wappa, or Wappa as he's simply known. And yeah, he's a pretty awesome guy as well. <laughs> he's more of a jokester than some of the other friends I know, but once you get used to his sense of humor, he's a pretty cool guy to talk to. And it's like, he was another one whose art I was a big fan of. Um, I know another buddy of mine, Trent, introduced me to his art, and and so I started sending him some artwork, and, and then it's like, we like we've been getting to talking ever since and yeah so that's how it is and um I see nude people it's like um I wouldn't say we're, we're exactly a uh, personal friends or anything like that but um she uh <laughs> she talked to me a few times on Twitter and it's like she's like one of the sweetest girls I know one of the sweetest people I know and it's like I had lots of fun um I, I love her art and I love uh, chatting with her and or I like tweeting at her and everything like that and I just had a spoiler but I think the most sh shocking one of all was like when you guys remember the artist spotlights videos I did right well uh this this cool girl wet wasabi she reached out to me and liked the one I did on her and we've been getting becoming close friends ever since and I am so glad it's like you couldn't I couldn't tell you how nervous I was when she reached out to me it's like I look up it's like I'm the kind of person who when it comes to people I look up to I never expect them to acknowledge my existence but nope um, I'm starting to become more and more uh, n less and less nervous around people who I look up to and 
yeah, it was really cool for her to reach out, and we're we're become friends ever since. I uh, I support her on coffee. I I commission her sometimes. I even donate to her. Yeah, I I participate in her streams and I donate to them. And yeah, it's like I really really like this girl. She's a great friend, and I hope to support her more in the future. And hell, maybe me and her might collab on something eventually. I might get my lazy butt in gear and make an animation that she can voice act for because she's just multi-talented like that. So yeah, Wet Wasabi, if you're watching this, I really enjoy you as a friend, and it's like, I hope your 2019 goes by pretty, I hope your 2019 is awesome, and I, I wish nothing but the best for you, buddy. Now, it comes time for us to talk about our 2019 revolutions, and like everybody, I got some. But unlike everybody who just dips out like halfway through, I actually plan to make some of these goals come true because I actually have some that are reasonably, um, that I can reasonably accomplish this year. First and foremost, I really want to move out and get my own place. It's like, living with other people, it can be pretty. You can feel like you're in prison sometimes. And, you know, it's like once you get a taste of what it's like to be on your own and be independent, you kind of want it back. That's one of the big things I miss about Chicago. Like, I liked being in my own place. Granted, I had roommates, but... You know, it it was different. I can. It's like here. It, it's like I'll be by myself and everything like that. And I have enough resources to do that. I <laughs> I got plenty. It's like plenty of a nest egg to get me back to where I need to go. Or what am I talking about? To get me a my a place of my own. And I hope to do that. And then once I do that, I can start doing more stuff. That I enjoy doing. I can start being in more Discord calls with my friends. I can, I can do all kinds of things. I can go out and do whatever I want without having to tell anybody where I'm going. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So that's definitely my big one, and it's like it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. Definitely by spring, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making videos from Casa, Casa Looney. And then, concerning my artwork, because, you know, that's my artwork, that's my main thing, I uh, really want to start to draw my OCs more. Yeah, fan art is good and all and everything, but I don't know, there's just something special about creating your own world and creating your own characters, and I, I want to address that, because I notice, like, a lot of the artists I follow, I really love their OCs, and... <laughs> You know, I want to be cool like that. I want to have my own world that people love. And granted, there are some people who do. But I think I can do better than that. I can get more people to get their eyes on my work. So I think the good way to do that is to draw my OCs more and then give them some more personalities. You know, because standing around looking sexy is good and all. But, you know, half the fun of sex is um, doing it with the person who you really know. So I think like drawing some more pieces where these characters are interacting with each other not to mention yeah not to mention showing off their personalities more in art I think that'll definitely help people get get attached to my characters more so that's definitely one that I hope to do and in terms of fan art um, I'm gonna try to stop trying to draw every character I draw in my style because I've heard from it's like it's one of those things where people are like oh well why don't you draw it show accurate or oh why don't you it's like oh you just drew you just copied the style that's not good so it's one of those things artists debate about but I think I'm gonna I think I want to start at least trying to put the characters more in the show accurate style but still put my own spin on it because there are definitely some ways I like to draw these characters and I don't want to completely take it away. I want to challenge myself to say, okay, how am I gonna <laughs> how am I gonna draw this to be show accurate while still looking like something I drew? So yeah, that's that's definitely something I can look into. And uh in terms of my more uh, not safe for work art, I wanna start drawing some more uh, subjects that are out of my comfort zone. I wanna do I always say I wanna draw this more, draw that more, but I never do it. Well I'm gonna put an end to that. I want to draw more gay art because, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, a lot of the, where'd my stroke go? What the, oops, <laughs> slight technical difficulty, but uh, yeah, I noticed that a lot of the artists I draw, 
Yeah, they. Um, I'm not saying they're gonna keep it safe, but at the same time, they, they, they do a lot of hetero stuff, the kind of stuff you see all the time. But, and which is fine. I'm not knocking them or anything, but I think it's my duty as a LGBT person to start to spread my, <laughs> start to spread my group, to and become more mainstream with it. Basically, make gay art more mainstream because, while while gayness is becoming less and less uh, taboo. As much, um, despite what some right-wing YouTubers might want to tell you, I do think that gay art doesn't get enough, gay porn doesn't get enough attention that it deserves. And you know, now that gay relationships and art is starting to become more mainstream, why not gay porn be mainstream? It's like stop putting the gay porn in its own section and just lump it in with everything else because. It's not taboo or anything anymore, it's just love. Two people loving each other, sometimes more. So that'd be fun to do, because <laughs> that's definitely a subject I like addressing. So yeah, that'll be lots of fun. Oh, um, Fuda, that's another one I want to start drawing more, because, you know, I have a lot of trans friends, and it's like, I think they need some more representation in art, and yeah, granted a lot of people, a lot of folks draw Fuda and stuff like that, but, you know, I want to... It's like I want to throw my hat in the ring and see what I can do with it. Especially, um, it's like people usually draw like the girls with dicks kind of thing, but I, I think um, drawing some more uh, guys with pussy that that'd be fun. I, I don't think you see that that often. If you and if it's out there, I sure as heck don't. <laughs> I sure as heck haven't found much of it yet. But maybe I'm just not work, looking in the right places. And. I think another 2019 revolution of mine would be I want to at least I want to at least attend a con, a convention, or at the very least meet up with a friend of mine, some or at least meet up with a friend, online friend. I'm starting to be more open to social interaction because and yeah, I've always been a shy guy like um well mostly because when you grow up in high school and you're bullied by practically almost everybody you know and you only have a few circle of friends who you can trust, you tend to not like to meet up with people or to hang out that much. And I was never much of a party guy either. I, if I ever went to a party, I was usually in the corner just having one-on-one -on -one conversations with the people I knew. I was never up and dancing like somebody like Pinkie Pie was. But, you know, I think I want to change that in 2009. Like, start being more um, open to the idea of like visiting friends or attending a convention because I think it'd be fun to attend a convention and like people and, and hopefully interact with friends I know I don't have a large fan base or anything like that but if I can meet some friends at a convention I attend then I think that'd be pretty cool because you know I want people to start seeing that it's like behind all this uh, it's like behind all this smutty art I make and all these videos I make I'm a cool person. I'm a cool. I'm a person just like everybody else. So, yeah, that'd be fun to. That'd be, that'd be lots of fun to do. And I don't know exactly what con I want to do, but I know I do want to attend with a friend of mine. Um, <clears throat> one friend of mine wants me to attend MoMAcon this year. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work because at my work you're not allowed to take vacation days on holidays, but. We'll see how it goes. I'm not ruling out the possibility, but if not, we'll find another decent sized con to go to. I'd love to go to C2E2 at least because it's close to my, not too far away from my home. So, well, three hours, but who's counting? So, yeah, I think for the most part, that those are my 2019 revolutions. There's some other 2019 stuff I didn't get a chance to talk about, but would definitely like to address, like the John K situation and the Butch Hartman situation because a lot of people because those are anima related to animation and a lot of people were asking me my opinion on them and you know I didn't exactly want, I didn't exactly know how to address those because they were personal and uh, like they were kind of serious well in the case of John K's it was very serious but yeah I'll definitely try to find time to do videos on those topics because Hey, that's the beauty of doing these videos. Like, they're easy for me to make. All I do is hit record and record myself drawing for 15 minutes, and and then I just speak my mind, basically. Um, 
It only takes me a little bit of research probably to get everything straight because that's how I like to be. I like to make sure I get everything straight. But, you know, even then, it's not like writing a script where I can go back and change any mistakes I make. Um, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm only human. But, hey, if, I, if I'm ever wrong or anything like that, then it's like, by all means, correct me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, speaking of my videos, um, my 10th anniversary from when I started YouTube is coming up this year. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> what a shock. But, it's like, I'm, I definitely got some planned. Um, I'm definitely going to do another Q&A for you folks to ask me questions. It's like, because I always love doing those. I always love talking to fans, or at least answering their questions and them getting to know me better. And, it's like, I got some other few stuff planned. Um, because, yeah, it's like, it, feel, it feels like only yesterday I was a lonely, or it was like I was an angry 16-year-old who hit record and ranched on the Disney vault. And it's like, and since then, I have no idea where you guys came from. It's like, had you had I known I was going to be, have 25,000 subscribers in, in like nine years, I never would have believed you. But here I am, and yeah, I hope to keep growing, and it's like, make, meet new friends. So I gain new subscribers and just keep moving forward as Walt Disney said because that's the, just the kind of guy I am and also it's like I don't know what you guys think I think a semi kind of revol resolution in my like in terms of my videos I don't know it's like what do you guys like better do you like me being like a <laughs> angry guy who's no unapologetic and basically goes after anybody who I don't agree with and blah 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 because that's kind of not the kind of person I am in real life. Granted, I do have my moments where I'm like, I'm kind of frustrated at something and I might say some things, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I acknowledge that they're they're just people too, so um, unless they do something really bad, then yeah, they I show no mercy. Or do you like me just being this nice nice little country bumpkin who records in e these ASMR videos that can help you fall asleep at night? Or do you want somewhere in between where I'm aggressively nice, like I can it's like I'm very understanding, but when people deserve it, I can go rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to ask you guys because I do make these videos for me, but I, I like hearing what you guys think because if it wasn't for you guys, I don't know where the hell I'd be. So let me know. And yeah, so those are my plans for 2019. There's probably some I forgot to mention because I didn't read my list before I recorded this. Oops. But that's okay. It's like... So... What are you guys? Some, what are some of you guys' 2019 resolutions? Like, do you guys are you guys looking forward to this year and what it might bring? And hey, if you, it's like, do you have any suggestions on what I can do, either, whether it be my art or my videos? Let me know. It's like I'm all for um, trying to improve and helping you guys or and help and you guys helping me out. It's like, cause heaven forbid these these videos sometimes are a pain in the butt, cause. I'm actually doing a second take of this video because <laughs> when I tried to record it Wednesday, like, only like 25% of it was movable, and oh man, that, that didn't make me very happy. But, yeah, it's like, live and learn, it's like, can't much you can do, just try it again, try, try again. So folks, have an awesome 2019, I look forward to... I look forward to making some videos for you guys, entertain you, making more artwork and all that stuff, and let's have a great year. Stay loony, my toonies.